Three, two, one. Oh, yeah. Welcome, welcome, happy 244 years young. The United States Marine Corps found on this day, 1775, Tun Tavern, go figure, the Marine Corps was uh, founded in a bar. How appropriate. Let's get this show beer and booze with B-Rad. I'm your host, B-Rad. Let's get the show started off right. 22, veter 22 veterans die a day to PTSD suicide. So please reach out to that individual. Simple act of kindness. A smile. Take them out to lunch. Take them out to dinner. Uh, just listen to them. That could save that person's life. And if you're going to drink, don't drive. If you're going to drive, don't drink. All right. I um on this Marine Corps birthday episode, I have a beer that I know, I know this is going to sound crazy, but if anyone has followed the what do you call it the uh, better known businesses and stuff, you know I, I've drank a lot of the Lead Slinger whiskey, and uh, there's America Bourbon, another veteran owned. In operated business, um, the Lutzer whiskey uh, started with um, I, I can only find out a little information on this. Um, Lutzer whiskey is uh, was started by Matt Best, uh, Army uh, Ranger Special Forces. Um, he puts out some really great, funny videos. Um, to me, he's a positive impact uh, to the veteran community, uh, which we need. And uh, he had a friend that he, they started a clothing line called Article 15. Uh, from there, I believe they got into, uh, they had another friend that said, hey, do you mind if I make some coffee? And then... You know, it went into that. I don't know how they got quite in the whiskey business, but according to the website, it's seven combat veterans, Air Force, uh, seven combat veterans, Army Rangers, Special Forces, U.S. Air Force, um, and that's all I that's all I know about the lead slinger business. Um, very very. Um, not a lot of information, man. I honestly, I, I searched and I searched and I searched and all I can tell you is like, this is uh, Matt Best, uh, his friend's Article 15 clothing line and then the Black Rifle Company. Well, they have a great whiskey, okay? And uh, I wanted to do something special for this Marine Corps birthday. And I do have another video for tomorrow on Veterans Day. Me and B Miss B Rad just went to the Marine Corps ceremony down at the Veterans Park, uh, like we do every year. And um, I just wanted to do something special for this. And I thought this is not a Marine Corps beer, but it is a better known beer. So the Lead Slinger, um, Lead Slinger, if you're watching this. You guys make a great product, man. I love the freaking bottles that you guys put out. They're kind of cool. They're square. They have the flag or they have something behind behind that, you know, which is very ingenious, I believe. Um, I don't know if you guys are sourcing your whiskey or not, but anyhow, they, they, they put on Instagram. They, you know, let's get with it. Everyone's like, oh, yeah, man. Oh. Everyone wants this beer, of course, man. They make a great whiskey, and the veteran community is very supportive, and they've got that support. Okay, apparently this is blue, uh, brewed by uh, 1774 Brewing Company in Moore, Oklahoma, where the whiskey's brewed, not brewed, but distilled. Um, and I don't know if that's this, I don't know if those two businesses... A distillery and a brewery, I don't know if they're ran by the same people or not, but I have been waiting for this beer for quite a while. They, they have it on their Instagram, and I, I mean, I, I was stoked, and it was supposed to be in Kansas, and it's not. Well, I only live two and a half hours away, three hours away from 
where I picked this up. So I drove down into Oklahoma. Matter of fact, I got it at Joy's uh, Fun Barrel or something like that. Uh, liquor store in Yukon. And uh, me and Mrs. B. Red just made a day about it. All right, let's, let's get on. I, I, I had a hard time finding this. I, th I think I know why. Okay, they made a beer. Okay, you got a very simple bottle here. I mean, this is this, this looks like a bottle that I got in my home brewing kit. Okay, you know, there's nothing on the cap. There's nothing, and I'm not bagging on this at all. Um, this is 5.5% uh, alcohol by volume. It's a lager. They also have a wheat. I'll do the wheat tomorrow. Um, I, I like the logo, but I just, a, as they do their whiskey, I think they could be a little bit more creative. I'm not going to give, I'm not going to give the, I mean, I like it, but I don't like it. I think it's, for them, it's too simple. Th this is too, th this is all too simple. What I think is they started this, they didn't know how well it would take. And and now the, the supply and stuff is probably... Just uh, people gobble this up in Oklahoma and they can't get it out to any place else, maybe. I mean, I'm just guessing with the simplicity of the bottle and the label and everything, when they put so much uh, uh, time and effort, I feel, into the whiskey bottle. So, um, this beer, for right now, as far as I know, is only in Oklahoma. It might be in a few other areas, but not it, what, it ha, wasn't found in Kansas, I can tell you that. Or at least I didn't find it in Kansas, not to say someone might not have it. All right. Got the trusty. Let's crack this open. Let's see what the see what these guys are about. Let's see if this... I just, uh, believe it or not, I uh, just bottled my first batch of brew. And I'm I'm smelling freaking like yeast, uh, you know, type smells. I don't. This is a. Uh, I mean, it's got a really it's good good carbonation and stuff. It's got really small small bubbles and everything. Um. It's dissipating a little bit, I mean, but this is, God, this is, man, this looks like what my beer looked like. Um, looks like they're not filtering it. It's got stuff kind of floating in there. Either that or I didn't clean the glass out. It could be. <laughs> if it is, I'm sorry, lead slinger. Uh, it's a real clouded look. Um... I just don't know, man. I'm gonna give the head. I'm gonna give the head a three nine. It's, it's got a pretty decent head. I'm gonna give the color a three zero. That's just, I don't know. For a lager, it's not very. I mean, I don't expect it to be clear, but expect it, the the color is off a little bit. I'm smelling, I'm smelling a lot of malt. Um. You sm I, I'm smelling freaking like yeast, but I, I know that's because I bottled that beer and I had it all over myself and I can't seem to shake the smell. So my sniffer's off. All right, let's give her a drink. Um, it's just... To me, it doesn't taste like a lager. It's got more of a weedy taste to me. Um, maybe some barley in there. Um, it's just not, it doesn't, to me, it doesn't have the profile of a lager. I mean, yeah, I, I honestly, um, their whiskey is great and everything. Let me get another taste of this beer. I 
Um, I, I don't know. I'm still tasting it. It's, uh, I think it's a little heavy on, um, it's got a real weedy taste to it. Um, I'm not getting hardly any hop. I don't feel out of this beer. Very little hoppy hoppiness. Um, and most beers have hop in it, even lagers. Um, I just, I, I just, I mean, I, I, I just brewed a heifer weasen, and this smells and kind of tastes similar to it. Okay, so I mean that is a wheat. Wheat beer, um, I don't know. I'm not really digging this. I'll, I can tell you that. So let's go out on a positive note on this 244th anniversary Marine Corps birthday edition. And I did travel three hours to go get this beer for this review. So you got this guy comes into your bar. Hey, I can out drink you. Ah. Uh, his name's Casey, he's a Marine, and he's looking for a free beer. You better believe it, that free beer. But I'm doing the work for you because I'm gonna tr I am uh, created this called the, the Chuggability Test. Chuggability Test is to give you that unfair advantage against professional drinkers such as Casey that might want to take your money and you have to buy them a beer. Maybe even a shot. No, I'm Casey. All right, let's get this down. A little bit better with the chuggability. I mean, I don't, I'm not getting a real clean taste. I don't feel, not, it didn't go down real smooth. Um, like I said, I think they're in the beginning stages of starting this beer. And I'm sure that the beer will be on the same level as the whiskey. Uh, they just gotta, they gotta stick with it. I'm not going to recommend this as a go-to beer. Um, it's worth a try. I mean, you might like it. I mean, my taste buds might be different than your taste buds. So on this Marine Corps day, I would like to show my appreciation for my brothers and sisters that sacrificed it all for this great country and made us what we are today. And... I'm busting out the scotch. And so, of course, to the men and women, sacrifice it all and chesty pull wherever you are. Whew. That does go nicely with a longer. A little bit of scotch. All right. Thank you for everyone watching. Brad Lance, Scott Losky, Lupe Gomez, brother. I remembered a uh, Massimo flavor, baby. Uh, I wrote on Lynn Johnson. My whole Marine Corps family. Happy motherfucking birthday. And of course, the, he is slowly becoming my number one viewer. And we are up to 44 viewers now. So, Stony Vineyards, man. I appreciate it. Uh, I love that you put me in with everyone else in your video. You have a long list of people that you showed some love to. And I appreciate me, me being one of them. So, keep it up, brother. Prost, cheers, skull, and sipper five, motherfucker. <laughs>